Here's the thing. I freaking love your anti sneaker videos. Why would I not want to help him promote his show? I'm Cousteau, and this is the best sneaker show on the internet, the Ioanni Sneaker Show. Well, President Eisenhower was forced to cancel his trip back east today due to that young lady. All right, guys, sneaker news. Let's get right into it. The Air Jordan Aqua 8. We saw uh, not official photos, but these, you know, your random leaked photos uh, of the Aqua 8, which is going to release on Black Friday. I think it's the perfect shoe to drop on Black Friday. You know, it hasn't been retro in a while. It's, you know, basically everyone's favorite colorway uh, of the Jordan 8, maybe other than the playoff, the playoff 8s. But it almost reminds me of like the great 5s, like just a classic, classic shoe that everyone loves. No complaining. There should be enough pairs to go around, just like with the infrared 6s. Uh, they, they flooded those, they'll still sell out, but it's a shoe that's like, why would you not grab it? If you're gonna only grab a few Jordans you know, in a year, that's a great one to grab. So you're gonna see everyone uh, with those, of course, but like I said, perfect Black Friday release. Next up, we have an Adidas Ultra Boost collaboration. It's with a company or brand called Kohler, K-O-L-O-R. I'm not even gonna pretend like I know who or what they are. Um, and I think it's hideous. It, I think it looks fucking awful. It's terrible. Uh, I don't think an Ultra Boost is a good shoe to collaborate on because you can't really change up the materials. You can't really change like color blocking. So this shoe just has like a bunch of random colors on it. I do think it's interesting that the Ultra Boost is getting collaboration. That's why I'm kind of talking about it because I'm like, weird shoe to collaborate on. I don't know that I necessarily get that. I just don't think it was done well or executed well. And you know, it's a, it's a shoe that I really love. So I, I just don't think there's a lot to play with when it comes to collaborating on the Ultra Boost. So we'll see if Adidas continues to do this with uh, other models. All right, and we got official images of the Olive Foam Posits. If you're a foam guy, this is a foam to have for the fall. I think that Olive colorway is just looks so nice. I'm a big fan of greens and browns and, and those type of tones in the fall. So if you are looking for a good fall kick that won, well, you can you can beat up foams and wear those in the snow, the mud. That olive color colorway looks fantastic. So if you're in the market for a new pair of foams, I think those are the ones to grab. Like I said, the foam posit is just you know we 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 see we've seen so many colors in the price. It's just the the foam. I just never hear people talking about foams anymore. So even me talking about them now, I'm like, wow. Like, I, does anyone care? Let me know in the comments. Do you care about foam posits anymore? I don't know. All right, guys, I have a new sneaker pickup, a pair of New Balance 997s. I gotta get, give a big thanks to T. Blake. He actually linked me up with someone at New Balance that uh, they, they this is a, these are samples and they're in my size and they were like, oh yeah, we're looking to you know get them in the hands of the right person. T. Blake's like, yo, I got the right person. I was like, hell to the yeah. New Balance 997 and it's basically the, it's like a lifestyle type, type sneaker and it, these are, I can I can say this with 100% certainty, the nicest sneaker that I own. That there's there's no ifs ands or buts about it. This is material wise the nicest nicest sneaker I own. I think they retail for around 350, almost 400 dollars. The leather. This is like Jordan brand. You motherfuckers. This is what I'm talking about when it comes to quality leather. Yes, they would be a lot more expensive, but if you're gonna do leather like crazy, like this is Horween Leather, a company in Chicago from they've been around since 1905. Like this is this is leather. So Jordan Brin, either go all out and release the highest quality leather like this here. I mean, this shit smells like your your girlfriend's three thousand dollar Louis Vuitton purse. Boom, that's what it smells like. So Jordan Brin, you wanna talk about quality and shit, go all out or go cheap as fuck. Decide, don't meet me in the middle because a lot of the retros you're releasing, they're still the same old crappy leather. Go make put Jordans at a 120 price point with the crappiest leather ever so I can still buy them for a good price and be like, whatever, I'll just beat them up. Or go all out and be like, okay, $400, but the leather's pristine and amazing and supple and all right, enough talk about the shoe. 997 New Balance, I love it. Uh, yeah, they're sick. Uh, you'll see them in a sneak rotation video. All right, guys, want to do a uh, shit I saw on Twitter. Uh, and something I saw, it was from uh, my buddy Cousteau. Nick Engville and Brandon Edler, they have a new podcast called Outside the Sneaker Box, 
which uh, I, I love because uh, this is why I do this show and this is why I make YouTube videos because I enjoy talking about sneakers and I don't really have anyone in my real life to talk to sneakers about. That's why I found all you crazy people who follow me and all you other crazy YouTubers that I interact with. Uh, the, these three guys are awesome. They, they've super inspiring guys. They, they, they uh, know the sneaker game so well and they've taught me a lot. So I wanted to make sure I give them a proper plug here. So I'm going to post a link to the podcast is about 27 minutes and they they dive into uh, you know Kanye's effect and, and uh, you know right now in the game and Adidas and uh, there's there's no better three guys you'd want to listen to uh, talking about sneakers and Cousteau did a real great job very clean audio so I want to make sure that I can send some view some of you guys over there if you haven't checked it out link will be in the description uh, shout out to all three of those guys very great people guys that wraps up the Uanti sneaker show Monday in the books gonna go watch some Monday Night Football uh, Pats boom Bills Rex Ryan F you all right I'm out of here peace <laughs>